So this is frozen krill that we collected. Um, and you can see it's nice uh, color in here. It's a really rich pink color. Um, this is then a sample of uh, blue whale feces, which is also pink. Um, it's like that rich pink color because they're eating krill, so it's pooping out that same color there. Um, I used to, you know, think about myself as a mathematician until one day I had explained to my ex that the, what that sample in the freezer was blue whale feces in my, in my freezer at home. Um, and then I was like, okay, I'm a biologist now. But um, the, uh, the, this is a part of, all part of this great cycle, right? So blue whales will dive to depth and eat krill at 200 meters or 300 meters um, where that krill is down, down there. And then what they'll do is they'll swim back up to the surface to breathe, and then when they when they poop at the surface, it's like it is a thing. It's just it's like a fecal volcano. It's just like poop everywhere, just coming out and coming out and coming out. And it leaves this. What that's essentially doing is cycling nutrients. It's relieving. It's it's taking all these nutrients that were adept and giving them back up to the surface where they are then accessible to things like phytoplankton to um, recycle those nutrients where because phytoplankton are near the surface where there's sunlight. So they take this deep water food resources and bring them back up to the surface. So it makes this really cool, um, basically completing this cycle and, and uh, kind of fertilizing the ocean, essentially. We can learn a lot about um, digestive processes. We can learn a lot about the energy of the animal, of the food that they're eating. We can look at the size of the krill that they're eating. You'll have some carapace that's left over and you can actually study the size of the krill that they're eating with their little, um, you can measure like their antenna stalks to like help then estimate the length of the krill that they're eating. Um, you can look for things like pollutants in their, in their digestive system. You can look at their, um, uh, how many microplastics you might find in their, in their fecal samples. You can look at the hormones of that animal. You can tell uh, if that animal is stressed from, uh, from looking at its fecal samples. So there's, there's a lot of different things you can study from this. Like it's a piece of that of animal, something that we can use to study it when we can't actually collect a piece of the animal itself.